my friends! It's been a while since I've made a video and we just celebrated Martimus Day and I thought I would just quickly show you how to make a very very simple lantern. All you need is a piece of paper. I have used the watering colour paper, this is one of the children's paintings, and you just want to fold into three as even as possible. So one, two, three. And then you just want to do another little tiny fold on one of the ends. So it's going to come, it's going to come together like this. You will need a pair of scissors and you are just going to cut just a little slit on one of the ends on all of the little folds. like so. Now if you want to make some windows, um, you can cut little leaf shapes. Um, you can have the children draw around a leaf. On all of the sides. Right, and then you'll need a pair of scissors to cut out. Again, the children can practice cutting things out. You may just need to make, make a little snip in the middle so they can cut around the leaf shape. like so and then you will need some tissue paper find some nice full colors and then you're going to stick this on now you can use regular glue I only have a glue gun today so that's what I'm using but just normal Prick stick will do. And the children can do that by themselves. There we are. And now with the slits in, you're going to just fold in the bottom. like so and then your lantern is going to come together like so do that this way like so and then you're going to stick the bottoms together and stick the side I'll show you how to do that. Again, you can use regular glue. I'm just going to use this glue gun as that's all I have at the moment. that down so it all sticks and then you're going to glue this the small fold that you did that's what's going to hold it together this you can sometimes tuck in the inside but I am just sticking it on the outside like so
There we go. And there you have your lantern. Easy peasy. Now you need to make two holes. I have one of these fun little hole punches. It's got little shapes. So you're just going to do one, two. And then you need some yarn and you can do have the children do a little twisty twirly or have them finger knit. I'm just going to do a quick twisty twirly. So for your twisty twirly, I have made another video on how to do these. So I'm just going to quickly cut two pieces of yarn, the same set length. And I like to use a needle. to thread the yarn. I just put both pieces through the same. Needle, like so. And then I tie a knot. Bottom. Like so. And do the twisty twirly. Again, the children can do this. If, if you're doing this with young children, you'll have to make the twisty twirly first and you'll have to thread it in. And this little lantern is a simple, oopsie, a simple last minute lantern you can make if you last minute decide to do or join a lantern walk. There we go. And then I thread this back through the needle. There we go, and thread it into the other hole. And make another knot at the bottom. And you can just chop the loose Squiggly bits off. And there you have your lantern. Now I usually make these with my two year olds and I don't, when we do our lantern walk, I just give them one of these candles, the ones that you can just turn on and off. Like so. And for the older children, um, I use I make the beeswax lanterns, which I recently just posted about on my Instagram. And I have had a lot of people ask how to make those. I've recently started working for a company um, where I make videos for them. And because they sell them, I cannot give them away for free on my YouTube. But if you are interested, I can certainly sell you one of those videos um, for a very, very reasonable price. Um, just so I can show that it's been sold and not given to for free. Um, so please feel free to DM me on my Instagram, Amy Stacey's SD. Um, otherwise, enjoy. <laughs>